So this is the fact or opinion skill. What tends to happen is that we tend to have opinions that influence our emotions and then we have really strong emotions that further influence our opinions. And sometimes that can become a bit of a vicious cycle, especially when we're passionate about something or we've been in a really difficult situation or we're responding to a difficult emotion. So sometimes it can be harmful on the sense that we might respond based on those feelings and emotions and we might then have the urge to act and it might not be in a way that's representative of who we are or how we would actually like to react. So it's important to take a little bit of a pause and before you act to a situation, a feeling or an opinion, weigh up, is it actually factual or is it your opinion? So it's important to remember that first of all, facts are heavy, they're concrete, they're based on evidence, whereas opinion is lighthearted, it's based on our feelings, it's based on our experiences growing up, but it's also changeable. So just to give you an example, you might see a friend walking down the street and they don't say hello. Instantly, you might start panicking depending on your feeling that day. So if you're having a particularly anxious day, you might have some irrational thoughts thinking, why has she ignored me? Doesn't she like me anymore? Have I done something wrong? And it really impacts the rest of your day. And then you might then respond to that person in a way of why did you ignore me? And it might become a situation that you don't want it to be. Whereas if I'm having a positive day and I'm feeling good and I'm feeling well, my opinion might be, oh, she just didn't notice me and I might not think twice about it. So strong emotions can influence our opinion. But out of that example, the only thing that was an opinion was the fact that I I worried that she ignored me. I worried that she didn't like me. I worried that there was something wrong. These were all just opinions, not facts. The only facts that we did have was the fact that she walked past and she didn't say hello. There could have been a variety of reasons why she didn't say hello. She might have been running late for work. She might have not wanted to actually speak to anybody that day. Maybe she didn't actually even see me. But we just need to take that moment to pause and have a little think before we go down that spiral of all these what if thoughts. So just to challenge you to have a little think about how easy it can be to happen is I'm just going to show you this teddy. Okay, so if we go with the facts, the facts are that this duck is yellow, it's a duck, it's got black eyes and it has an orange beak. They are all facts. Whereas opinions of this duck is that it's cuddly, that's opinion, that I like duck teddies, that's also opinion, that it's soft, opinion. So it's always having a little bit of a think, can you back it up? So when we're talking about that facts, it's hardcore facts that can't be changed. So it's based on evidence. Would your evidence stand up in a court of law? Do you have enough factual evidence to say that it would? Remember that your opinions can be based on how you're feeling in that moment. Just like a cloud, it can change. And it is based on how we might be feeling at that given time and day. So just to bear that in mind. Another example might be what we think of clowns, for example. Factually, we know that they might be associated with the circus. We know that they might have big feet, they might wear makeup, they might have a red nose. These tend to be facts about clowns. Whereas opinions might vary. So some people might say that clowns are scary, that they're funny, maybe they're even a little bit annoying. But the differences in those opinions come from your childhood experiences, the people that have influenced you in your life, the environments that you've been in. It's not about answers being right or wrong, but it is respecting that we have different opinions from other people. And when we're experiencing difficult emotions like anxiety, can we challenge ourselves? What evidence do we have to say it's true? And what evidence do we have to say it's not true before responding and to break that vicious cycle of scary thoughts down?